As part of the Royal BC Museum's overall modernization plan, it bought the iconic IMAX theater on its grounds in 2020. The acquisition allows, acquisition allows for more flexibility in its educational offerings. But don't worry, the Hollywood hits will return, and so will the epic IMAX movies you've come to expect. In fact, a North Island story that made headlines around the world is currently filling the massive Victoria IMAX screen. Saving Luna tells the story of an orphaned orca and the clash when humans tried to intervene. We, my wife and I, made a film called Saving Luna. Luna was born into the southern resident group of whales. Babies disappear all the time, and they assumed that he had died, but he hadn't. He had gotten separated from his pod on, in Nootka Sound, just way up the coast of Vancouver Island. And suddenly, this little whale popped up and started going over to people's boats and looking at them. And after a very short period of time, people were scratching his tongue. He was just kind of like, I want to be your friend. He was like a golden retriever whale. Folks, this is not a watchable whale. Please don't touch it. We stepped into the middle of a drama. So the government was trying to move Luna to Victoria to try to reconnect him with his pod. The First Nations said, no, wait a minute. The Moachet Machalot First Nation up there had seen Luna, people had seen Luna just right about the same time that their beloved chief died. And they believed that Luna had come as a reincarnation of their chief who had told them before he died he was going to come back as an orca. Every human being saw him, wanted to embrace him, and knew that the scientists say stand back. But how do you solve this? He's desperate for attention, and yet we're not supposed to give it to him. This huge government entity there, 175 people, all of a sudden, as they start trying to catch Luna, canoes go out on the water. And where does Luna go? He follows the canoes. And everything changed on the Sound. I sort of speculate, while this is all happening and we're fighting over him, I think he's getting what he wants. It's a dramatic film, it's an emotional film, it's a life-affirming film. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.